Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I'm using the Center Cut Flower Stamp by Simon Says Stamp. The middle pops out. I used the outside on my last card. I'm gonna use the inside this time with this card. I'm gonna position it in the lower left-hand corner of this oversized piece of Canson XL mixed media paper. I'm gonna stamp it with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink. Um, and I'm gonna re-stamp it again because my ink pad is a little bit dry. Because the stamp is not clear, and I wanna see where I'm stamping this next one, I'm gonna use my stamp majig, and then I'll position it just right next to this previous stamp. So I am gonna overlap them just a little bit, but I'm not worried about it because I'll cover it up later with some flowers that I'm gonna cut out. So I'm gonna ink this up again with VersaFine Black Onyx. I'll stamp it down, and then I'm just gonna hold my stamp majig in place while I re-ink it since I have a dry ink pad. And so I'm gonna ink that up one more time and then stamp it. Now I want to have some flowers that I'm gonna cut out. So I'm also gonna stamp this on another piece of paper. It doesn't really doesn't matter what size it is, just as long as it fits. So notice that I held my stamp of a jig down so that I could re-stamp this again. It might be easier just to re-ink my pad, I think. But anyway, so I kind of played around with uh, stamping uh, some more on the edges here, just so I would have more options for full flowers. And I ended up kind of making a mess and not really looking and ruining some of the stamp uh, that I wanted by stamping it again. So um, anyway, so after all that stamping and mess, I actually had to create even more flowers. I covered up all these stamped flowers with some clear embossing powder and then heated to set it. Before I move on to coloring, I'm gonna trim this to an A2 size. I'm gonna use these two Zig watercolor markers, lilac and light blue. I'm also using the number four brush from my Ranger Artist brushes. I'm gonna start by coloring the base of the flower with the light blue. You can see I'm just coloring at the bottom um, where the petals start. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm using, I'm not, you could use a water brush. I'm not using a water brush. I'm just dipping this into a jar of water that I have and I'm just blending it. And I'm really not worried too much about starting in the white, pulling the color out. I'm really just covering it with water. You wanna make sure that you cover the water all the way to the very edge. And the reason is because when I do this step, it'll blend a lot easier if I have water already on my cardstock. So I'm dropping in a little bit of lilac on the tips of all of these petals. And then um, the water should do a lot of the work already, but what I did was I went back in with my brush just to blend it a little bit so it looked like um, it, wasn't, it didn't have any harsh lines. And that's all I'm gonna do for every single one of these flowers. The nice thing about the Zig watercolor markers is that they come in light colors. So you don't have to worry about starting with a dark blue and having to lighten it with water. You can start with the light color and uh, you have the color exactly the way you want it. I'm using my Canson paper mostly because it's a bright white color. It's really hard to find good watercolor paper that's bright white. The only thing I'm not crazy about with this paper is how thin it is, but because I'm not using that much water, it's really not a problem. It didn't warp hardly at all. These flowers are coming out really pretty with the two tones. Now I also colored some flowers on this other sheet that I stamped, but for some reason I only colored two and then I turned off the camera. <laughs> but anyway, I had others that I colored. For my leaves, I'm using May Green and Pale Green, and I'm just gonna drop some of this darker May Green uh, in different areas of the leaf. I did each leaf differently, so I just kind of randomly placed the dark color, filled it in with the light, uh, and now I'm taking that same size brush, number four, and blending it all together with some water. Now I think I did too much brushing on that first one, so I'm gonna redo it here and show you. What you really wanna do is just swipe it a little bit, once or twice across. And by doing so, you'll sort of keep those uh, as best you can colors separate so you get a nice variation in color with all these leaves. I tend to go outside the lines with a brush instead of an aqua painter. So you can see I went over in this one area and I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna drop some plain water. I'm just more tapping it on than I am brushing it and then I just lift it with the tissue and it's gone. All right, my next step is the middle of these flowers. This is lemon yellow. There's nothing special about this. I'm just coloring the inside dots of all these flowers. And then there's also some dots that are outside the flowers. I'm gonna color those with light pink. As far as that area goes where there's an overlap, I'm making sure I color everything and just do the best I can uh, to make them look like different flowers. And I'm gonna cover it later, as I said. Now I'm gonna cut out those whole flowers that I colored on that extra sheet. My sentiment is from the Artful Flower Set by Simon Says Stamp. I'm gonna put it in the Misty and stamp it just in between. There's like a little gap in between the two stamps. So I'm gonna put it right there with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink. 
And then I'll take some tape runner to the back of this watercolor panel and adhere it to an A2 size folded Nina card base. And now it's time to put these extra flowers on top. So I am going to place them all before I adhere any of them. And I tried to make it a little bit random and I also did some leaves, you'll notice. I'm going to hang some of them off the edge and I'm gonna be really careful to make sure that I cover any areas that were overlapped between those two stamps that I did at the beginning. Notice that when I put these popped up ones on top, I'm not matching it exactly to what's stamped underneath. So I put one that was a, there was a background flower that I put a foreground flower on top of. So it doesn't have to match perfectly. And then I'm gonna trim off the ones that are hanging over the edge and that is the card for today. The coloring is really simple to do and these two stamps stamped next to each other don't look like two separate stamps. So I really like that about this stamp set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.